to tap into uh, toxic relationships. Uh, what do you think makes a relationship toxic? I feel like if boundaries aren't respected, like, you know, in the beginning of a relationship, most people set boundaries. And I feel like if those boundaries are continuously, like, overstepped and it's causing issues and there's no, like, resolution, there's no respecting of the boundaries, that mm. could make a relationship toxic. Um, I also think... It just really just depends, but I feel like a lot of back and forth. So, like, of course, in relationships, there's going to be ups and downs, but there's back and forth about situations that are, like, moral, like, things that you, like, non-negotiables, mm -hmm. then that could be very toxic. What do you think is, like, non-negotiable? Would you give me an example of non-negotiable? Like, some people just won't, don't accept cheating in a relationship or stepping out of a relationship. If mm -hmm. there's that continuous like pattern where somebody's stepping out of the relationship and it's causing problems that's like a non-negotiable and that's that's going to become toxic if you guys stay together i feel that yeah oh my my definition of my perspective of a toxic relationship would be like if the person well if both people don't benefit the way they need to personally because mm -hmm. um people get into relationships and they just be thinking like all right the relationship could be just like whatever as long as we agree on some things it's going to be straight but it's like if the other person's like well-being is at stake like you got to make sure you t they both taking care of that and that's that's for you to be in a relationship with them to help them take care of themselves while they helping you take care of yourself and it just balances off like that so um definitely yeah so like that's what would make a relationship actually toxic though is like when you don't when a person doesn't get that it's like lacking nutrients you feel me you got to take certain vitamins it's like you have to have certain things or you you understand like you yeah. won't necessarily be your full self or who you need to be or even yeah. moving towards it where you should be and if a relationship not give you that then it's not i wouldn't even see that as like a beneficial relationship at all yeah but um what do you think keeps people in toxic situations or toxic relationships oh my gosh i feel like the fear of starting over i think that's what holds Facts. a lot of people back some of y'all rock bottom they do don't like not it. even yeah. you know after some time especially if it's been toxic for a while that respect isn't there they don't even sure respect that. them they don't even feel comfortable around them anymore but it's just for the sake of not starting over because imagine going back to what's your favorite color and yeah. you know but i feel like sometimes it's just it's just not worth it like Definitely. you should be able to just free yourself and like we're really young there's i know it's like tiring but like there's going to be many more heartbreaks relationships situations that you got to go through you just got to be able to elevate shake the, yeah. yeah shake the old yeah school. i feel like rock bottom is one of the best places a lot of people don't like care rock bottom but rock, rock bottom is amazing the reason why i say rock bottom is amazing is because like that's where you truly learn and that's what you truly get to see with like where you made of and that's like one of my favorite places to be because it's like when you're at the top it's a lot of lessons you don't get to see because yeah. you winning and shit like that but um when you're at the bottom you really get to see a bunch of different perspectives like who mess with you when you at your lowest um who's gonna be there for you what type of energy they giving you when they don't when they like you can mentally tell somebody like oh i'm a millionaire but if they don't physically see it they're not gonna believe you for real yeah so that's how you be seeing a bunch of that's how you end up with fake people. Now, all of a sudden, they want to be next to you because they actually see the bread rather than when you was telling them you was a millionaire to yeah. hop on the wave. They ain't want to they ain't want to tap in. Definitely. So, um, yeah, and there's no way to go from up when you're at the bottom. You have no choice. But like, why would you want to stay at the bottom? Mm -hmm. You have no choice but to just keep trying to elevate facts. So how do you identify this and how do you elevate it? How do you identify a toxic relationship and then elevate yourself past that? I feel like, back to what I said, like the non-negotiables, I feel mm -hmm. like if I have to keep going back and forth with you about my respect, about my, stop like trying my fate, like, you know, a lot of the little, like just toxic things, things that are not beneficial to me, things that are holding me back, things that are affecting me physically, mentally, all that, then that's the point where I feel like you just got to cut it loose. You just... I just, and then, you know, sometimes it's going to be hard, like, to shed away from someone. So it's going to be hard, but you just kind of have to think about the end. You have to think about why would I want to be here when there's things better for me out there. Yeah, and people be trying to make people feel bad for taking care of themselves. Yes. That's just hilarious. It's like people call you self-centered or selfish because you 
want to take care of yourself. Like, no, if I'm not taking true. care of myself, I'm not productive to anybody, myself or you. I can't even be the friend that you're looking for or whatever yeah. fake want, whatever the case is. If I'm not taking care of myself, it's just it's just weird. It just don't make sense to me. But to elevate past that, man, it's just, yeah, you got to be able to identify, like, when something's not healthy. But it's, it's hard when your judgment is kind of clouded in those situations the majority of the time. But like you said, you got to be willing to start over and understand, like, you can't keep going through such and such. Or y'all got to be able to um, understand, each other's, uh, understand each other's character enough to, like, communicate and just figure out a way. Like, even if y'all got to take a break for a certain amount of time, didn't have didn't have the proper conversation. Kind of understand like when when shit is new, when feelings is new, you can't really talk to a person for real. You really yeah. can't. They gonna yeah. be thinking about all the other shit that you just recently did, yeah. or you just need time to heal as well. Tem yeah. Feelings be temporary, so after like a year, and you talk to somebody, that shit, y'all might have one of the best conversations you ever had in your life. Yeah. Versus if you did that conversation like a week later trying to force it trying to fix it right then and there yeah. it's like you got to give stuff time too That's so true. yeah so um about to head into the next time.